Okay, so it is time for another weekend vlog. That's up next. Hello everyone, this is Dwayne with Edge of Nowhere Farm and we're coming to you today. It is a very breezy mid-August day 2020. So we actually have been busy already this morning. So let's go ahead and rewind the clock a few hours and see how the day began. Hey everyone, it's Dwayne and Lori here and it is Friday night. We are getting ready for the weekend and the way we do that is with happy hour. <laughs> so we're going to have a good time tonight because we have a whole lot of work to get done and we're gonna try to take you guys along with. It's just before 3.30, you can see that in the back. And it is time for juice. We've got juice down, it is time for smoothies. Okay, so we've got coffee going right here and we've got juice and smoothies down. So one thing I wanted to show you, one of the things that uh, never ends around here either, and I'm sure you can all appreciate this, is dishes. <laughs> That's just from juice and smoothies. So I got some dishes to do before coffee is ready and then we get outside. It is just before sunrise. I'm actually behind the house because it's very, very breezy this morning, which is nice. It's gonna cool it off a little because we're supposed to be 110, 111 today, really nasty. But hopefully you can hear me. I apologize for the sound now if you can't. I'm gonna try to get a shot of the sunrise this morning because it is gonna be beautiful. So we got that back there. So head over here, we've got chores to do chicken chores specifically one of them we've got to get some new tarps on the chicken tractors so we'll be working on that and we had desert blacksmith going to call out to you thank you for the idea on doing the shade cloth in addition to the tarps i agree with you i think that would last a lot longer um, we didn't have time to pick those up this week and needed to get them covered so we're going to go with just tarps but great idea there and then we've had some shenanigans happening this week with uh, water on the property and everything out here basically being very, very thirsty. So we'll talk a little bit about that, but right now we need to get chicken chores done before it gets too piping hot today. So one of the things that we found, well, we already kind of knew this, is we're kind of building this little oasis in the desert. And obviously one of the things that we've really been challenged with this uh, summer has been the extreme heat. We've had hundred record number of 110 degree days. We had record heat in July and you know, it's the desert, but when you're breaking records, it's never a good thing. Anyhow, one of the things that we know we're doing here is we're attracting wildlife, which we knew was going to happen. We just didn't think it would be quite this fast. And they really, really want water. They're just literally dying of thirst. So one of the things I think we've showed you before, hopefully you'll pick this up okay. This is our main area. In fact, I'm going to get a closer shot for you. This right here is where we have a water a water bath for birds, so a basic bird bath. And you can see bees have just really kind of taken over. And hopefully you pick up the sound. Mm -hmm. 
you can see just amazing to see the bees there. Now we've got a few different areas we've decided we're gonna put out water because uh, we actually have, I think the video is coming up today, but we talked about having to protect the irrigation nozzles or irrigation um, emitters for all of our irrigation. And the reason why is because we had something and we now know it's a coyote actually chewing on the, the nubs, but we've been leaving out water bowls. You'll see one here for the coyotes. And this one here, of course, this morning, is being taken over by some bees so they're getting a nice drink of water it's a little unnerving not being a beekeeper but we have just seen an amazing really kind of explosion of wildlife and you know there's some predators and that's okay it's kind of part of the circle last night we talked about this i think in one of the other vlogs we had i hope i got it on video i think i'm going to try to cut it in here or at least give you a picture but over here where sorry about the sun but over here where we have our grapevine area and we have our arbor there, we had two beautiful owls up there last night. What was great to see if I go this way, you'll see that's where we have the water and everything else. And that is exactly where they went. So they were both here for water. Beautiful to see them come down one at a time. We had some rabbits that were kind of hanging back because <laughs> they knew better. But the owls came in, got a drink of water right as the sun had gone down. It was pretty dark actually. Really cool to see that come in. And then of course our coyotes. So, you know, coyotes are dogs, <laughs> they're wild ones. And you know, I'm not gonna be a fan of uh, these guys trying to attack our livestock, but we do the best we can and a pretty good job of protecting livestock. One of the things that we're having a harder time protecting though would be all of our irrigation nozzles. And yesterday Lori came out and this very last <laughs> irrigation ditch here, that was basically torn to shreds and you can kind of pick it up here hopefully but i don't know if you can see it we had coyotes basically dig this out on both sides and completely pull that off so they could get to the water so what we decided to, to do is we decided instead of trying to fight that to go ahead and add some extra water <laughs> so yesterday we uh, ordered this from home depot this is just a large concrete mixing tray this guy here holds about 20 gallons and we can actually already tell because nothing bothered any of our irrigation last night so obviously they must have been happy with this water tank here so we do have plans for a couple different at least one water tank here on the farm we're going to put it in the far corner on the farm obviously to keep some of the wild animals away but still give them something to drink because you know i'm a hunter so i'm not afraid to take animals we do eat meat it's one of the things we raise here so that's not an issue for me but i can tell you what is an issue for me is anything suffering i don't want to see animals suffering and you know all this dry heat absolutely no rain really whatsoever in good four or five months 110 plus degrees these animals they're dying so don't want to see that and obviously we can be a part of that out here there's really nothing out here there's no water for them so we're making sure that they're taken care of. Um, obviously, those coyotes help keep our, our bunny population down who like to eat our trees. So hopefully that'll help. But it's getting really hot. I'm gonna give you one more shot. Lori's heading over to the other side. We've got a nice little covey of quail over here. And we, it's, man, it's getting hot. <laughs> We're here in our berry area and our mulberries. This is one of our contorted mulberries here. So as Lori looks at that, you'll see just a beautiful, beautiful tree. We are looking forward to releasing them from here. Um, once they get a little bigger, I think we're gonna be okay as far as the rabbits are concerned, but we just wanna make sure there's no issues. So one of the things that we decided to do this week is we were using a quarter inch strip line and taking it from these irrigation boxes or the irrigation heads and watering right up against the tree. Now, as strong as mulberries grow and as well as these are doing, I was pretty confident that we were gonna be able to come back and go ahead and water with a bubbler head. So what we did was just installed a bubbler head in each one of these. You'll see that down here, rocked it in so this thing doesn't move. It's not gonna go anywhere. And what we're doing is we're watering this entire outside ring. 
Now this didn't water last night. It watered, I think, night before last. So today's Saturday, that was Thursday. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go to the other side of this and just see how we're doing. Oh, there we go. As Lori comes in, so now I'm not even all the way down. You can see all that moist soil. So now I am, now that's the, just the regular desert dirt right there. But you can see we've got wood chips here now that are gonna start breaking down. Oh, I love to see that. Oh, it smells so good. It already smells like soil. So of course now the advantage to having us watering out here, not only will the tree be encouraged to push root growth, and I know the root growth is here. As we were checking this the first time, I did come across a couple of feeder roots out here a couple feet away from the tree. And of course now we're building soil out, for, out here for them to grow into cooling the, the actual soil temperature down for these trees so that they're really, really happy. Anyhow, that's exciting to see. Okay, now what we need to do, we actually don't have a lot. <laughs> we on purpose kind of set aside some time because it's so, so hot to do some filming for our other channel, for the Healthy Farm Living channel inside the house. So we do have that to get done today. And I know Lori had a specific project she really, really wanted to do. So we'll see if maybe we could do that today too. Okay, so before we head outside for our next project, what do we have here? Putting some bacon in the oven. Oh, one of the many reasons I love you is bacon. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. Okay, now to our project of this morning and the day. I am not looking forward to this at all. We're actually at the front of the farm, so you can see kind of for reference, there's a house in the background, coop and run and all that great stuff. So one of the things that we did when we first started doing fencing is we paid a lot of money for this metal fencing and we couldn't afford to finish it. <laughs> so we finished it with this slat rail fencing that we put in ourselves. So to give you an idea to have a professional company come in and they're gonna do additional fencing for us. In fact, they're gonna be fencing in our pasture here in the next week or so. They do a fantastic job, but it's expensive. So one of the things that we needed to do because it's white is come back and paint <laughs> the cedar rail fence white. So what we're gonna do, because today is an extremely hot day, is we're gonna go ahead and paint, <laughs> which I can't stand doing. It's one of my least favorite things to do. But either way, we need to get it done. It's very important to Lori, so it's now important to me. And we're gonna go ahead and get to work. Lori's finishing up right now. I think it looks a little better having a white fence all the way down. So we've got a lot we still need to get done and most importantly, we need to eat. So breakfast time, quick break, uh, then a couple more chores outside before we wrap up the outside chores for today. So we've had breakfast and we've got one more project to do outside before we call it a wraps for our outside chores today. So I'm headed out to the wood chip pile again. If you guys remember last week, hopefully you can see it out there. Either way, gotta head out there and get the wood chips we had delivered into their home location, kind of on one side. It's getting really, really hot. We're right up here against the outbuilding and it's very, very breezy, so I apologize for the sound. But there's one more thing I need to get taken care of and that would be I need to get our wood chip pile all together for the week. We did get at least a couple deliveries from our neighbor down the road who brings us kind of the bigger wood chips that we need to pile up and compost down. So what I'm gonna do is fire up the big boy and head out back. at the wood chip pile you can see that behind me and actually we had a very good delivery this week I need to get with Alberto because these wood chips look fantastic so definitely a lot better that we can use 
right as is. We don't even need to necessarily pile it up. I think I'll push it back just a little bit so it's not quite as flat here on the ground so it doesn't take up as much space. But I need to get to work because it's getting warm, so let's go ahead and get these wood chips piled up. I need to get the tractor back into the outbuilding because it is just too hot out here to be working. But I'll tell you what, really happy with the wood chip deliveries this week. They actually are the best we've received so, so far from my neighbor down the road. So I'm hoping, fingers crossed, that's what he can get us from now on. I think we're finally done for the day. Lori's actually trying to find something we think we left outside, but we're not really sure. It's actually the bucket to our juicer. Kind of need to have that, it's sort of important. But one of the things I wanted to just talk about real quick is, obviously today, I don't know if you can tell or not, but I'm using our new camera. And one of the things that we really appreciate is everybody that's out there that watches us. And if you guys watch or click through on any of those ads, it's only a few pennies, but you know what? It all adds up. And we finally figured it was time to invest some of the money that is your guys' time spent on those commercials and actually buy some better equipment and be able to produce some better content for you guys. That's what we're trying to get done. So I think uh, for the most part we're done. We have a few things we're actually gonna be filming today for our the other channel, the Healthy Farm Living channel. So we need to get showered, cleaned up, and get to that. We'll come back when we get to our afternoon chores for today. We've actually spent the last few hours doing a couple of videos. You'll see us kind of wrapping up over here, but doing a couple of videos for the Healthy Farm Living channel. So now I've got a lot of work to do because I have some editing. I'm still learning the new editing software. I really like it. We use Premiere Elements. This is just the newer version. I was using 15, this is 2020. So I've got a couple files downloading there, but we actually still have an outside chore that we need to get done, and that would be our chickens. So I think I'm gonna help Lori. She's working on kombucha and cleanup, and then we're gonna go out and check out the chickens, make sure they're doing okay today. So we got chicken chores done now. I need to spend some time on the computer. I need to start getting some video edited for you guys. I think I need to get the Healthy Farm Living video up first so that way it's up tomorrow and then start working on today's video actually. It is getting late, but we have dinner on the table so I'm really excited about that. Got a lot of editing done today. Let's look at dinner real quick. It looks fantastic. So Lori made this one. It's like a chili, lime, cilantro mix of yumminess. So looking forward to having that for dinner tonight. And I think we're going to have a beautiful sunset. So I'm hoping, fingers crossed, maybe we can get a shot of that for you guys tonight. We're at the end of another day. It's a beautiful, albeit very, very warm evening. The sun's about to go down here. I've got quail bunting in the background. We've got dove flying over, darting left and right. It won't be very long. We'll start seeing those owls again. We'll start seeing the coyotes again. And we'll start seeing those pesky rabbits again. But you know, one of the things that Lori and I really enjoy, especially with these vlogs, is a lot of times we know that the majority of the people who watch these are our regulars. And you guys know who you are. You comment all the time. You really encourage Lori and I to do these vlogs and spend this time developing and putting together these videos for you. So just wanna thank you guys for all that you do and encouraging us. You know, we get to sit right behind where you're at now 
This is the view that we get to look at each night and we know that we're blessed and we don't take it for granted. So just wanna thank you for joining us today. If you haven't done so already, subscribe to the channel. Questions or comments, leave those in the comment section down below. Instagram and Facebook, we post content there you won't see here on the YouTube channel. And our Amazon shop, I'll leave a link down in the description. That's a free, painless way to help support the channel. If you start with that link, it doesn't matter what you buy, you help to support us here. So just wanna thank you for joining us today and remind you, if we can farm on the edge of nowhere, so can you.